All right, so what are some of the other ways that you can flip houses and minimize your risk? The way some people like to do it is they like to not use any debt and they like to uh, use their own cash. Sometimes they come to the table as a cash buyer, uh, get better deals. Now, the only thing there is what you're risking is your own cash and your own repair money. If you cannot sell the house, um, you will have to, you know, you can have the option of renting the property, but then you have to take into consideration, well, if you get stuck renting it for a year, how much money you're going to get and what uh, what return is that going to represent based on the money you spent? And that usually will be your percentage. Uh, and then you're going to have to take out for things like vacancy, repairs, tax insurance, and all that stuff. That's one way. The other way some people will do it is the type of money that you're borrowing. Are you borrowing money from a hard money lender? Uh, what happens if you're unable to sell the property and is there a balloon on it? So in other words, can you potentially lose the property in six months? That can be risky. Um, is it a private lender that's local? What are some of the other ways? So I would look at the debt structure that you're using to finance these projects and then take into consideration, well, what's the risk here? What happens if I'm unable to sell this house? What is another option? Is the amount of rent that I can rent this property for enough to cover the monthly interest that I have to pay my lender, plus the taxes, plus the insurance and any repairs. So that's another thing. And that's another reason why these smaller ranches that are maybe 12, 1300 square feet, they generally work as rental properties. Um, a lot of times, if you decide to buy one and then flip it and you can't sell it, you can get a reasonable return if you just hold it longer term. So that's another way of flipping houses and min minimizing your risk there. So there's always risk with flipping, but there are ways to minimize that risk. And then you have to come to your own conclusion, is the risk acceptable?